It's Monday the 13th of October. A very good morning to all of you. Let's take a look at what's coming up. In pole position, Lewis Hamilton closes in on the World Championship and off with a bang. The fireworks setting a new world record. This is News Round. Hi everyone, I'm Ricky. First this morning, it's been announced that more is going to be done to deal with the risk of the Ebola virus in the UK. The government here says people will be able to access a special phone line and there'll be experts on standby. The virus has spread across West Africa in recent months and prompted lots of questions from you. So we got virus expert Dr Benjamin Newman to answer some of them. Could Ebola spread in the UK? The virus could come to the UK, but I don't think it would spread in the UK. So someone might come to the airport with the virus, but I think all the things that we need are in place to catch the people and take them to a hospital where they can actually be helped and where they won't spread it to anyone else. How is Ebola spread? So in a person with Ebola, the Ebola virus actually stays inside. It lives inside of their blood. And the only way that it can come out and infect another person is when there are bodily fluids. And I know this sounds disgusting, but if you think of all the things that come out of you when you get really sick, those are the sorts of fluids that can transmit Ebola, things like saliva, vomit, even uh, poo. And unless you're coming into contact with those, unless you pick a little bit of that up and accidentally rub it into your eye or something, you're safe from Ebola. It's not something that can spread to you. It's not something you can catch from a person sitting next to you or coughing next to you. And that's why it would be unlikely to spread in the UK, where we have lots of sinks and can wash our hands and generally keep clean. Could babies and animals get it? So Ebola is actually a virus that lives in animals and probably comes from them. But these animals all live in the forests of Africa and aren't found in the UK. It probably grows in things like fruit bats that live in Africa and uh, other things like gorillas and chimpanzees that are out there. It's not a virus that can infect people very easily and it's not very well adapted to people, but if an adult can get sick, it can make a baby sick. If Ebola does come to the UK, are we prepared for it? Here in the UK, there are hospitals that are set up to deal with diseases just like Ebola. And they have all the equipment, all the sort of protective gloves and suits that you see on the news, and they have doctors who are experienced, who've done this sort of thing before. Is it a good idea to bring people to the UK who have the virus to be treated? Bringing people to the UK with Ebola is one of the nicest things you can do for those people. Because if you compare the hospitals here to the hospitals out there, they're really so much better here. And there are so many more staff to deal with them. It's nice that we have this in the UK. And uh, it's very hard for people who are out in Africa and have the virus right now. Well, there's more on Ebola on the Newsround website, but now let's catch up with some of the other big stories from around the world. A powerful cyclone has damaged huge parts of India's eastern coast. Cyclone Hoodhood hit with winds of up to 120 miles an hour. It ripped up trees from the ground, brought down power cables and damaged buildings. A huge hoard of Viking treasure has been found in Scotland. Experts say it's one of the country's most significant Viking discoveries. It consists of more than 100 objects from Scandinavia, Central Europe and Ireland. And in entertainment, Louis Walsh lost two of his acts on The X Factor last night as Blonde, Electra and Overload Generation were voted out on Strictly. Jennifer Gibney from Mrs Brown's Boys had to foxtrot home. OK, let's get some sport now. And Britain's Lewis Hamilton is now just three races away from being crowned world champion after winning the Russian Formula One Grand Prix yesterday. It was his ninth win of the year, but his teammate, Nico Rosberg, came second to keep the pressure on. Hamilton's win puts him 17 points ahead in the Drivers' Championships. All down to this incredible team, you know, what, we've, what they have achieved in these past uh, two years and, and, and particularly this year, you know, all these wins and the world title for the constructors which has never happened before i'm so proud to be a part of it and last up check out the world's heaviest firework it weighs 460 kilos and was launched as part of a festival exploding into a massive light display which measured 800 meters a new world record and one heck of a sight too OK, before we go, you might have noticed we look a bit different this morning, don't we? We hope you like the new look. Come back at 8.15 to see how we came up with it. But that's all for now. I'll see you in about half an hour's time. Bye-bye.